President Biden, Biden rather, his name has not changed, is setting optimistic new vaccine goals to fight the coronavirus. He now says anyone who wants a shot may be able to get one this spring, and that's despite the delays blamed in part on the Trump administration. Ed O'Keefe has more from the White House on this story. It's going to be a logistical uh, challenge that exceeds anything we've ever tried in this country. President Biden acknowledged the difficulties of increasing the rate of vaccinations across the country, but says his administration should be able to speed up how quickly Americans get their shots. I think with the grace of God and the goodwill of the neighbor and the crick not rising, as the old saying goes, I think we may be able to get that to 150. Uh, uh, 1.5 million a day rather than 1 million a day. The president's comments came as he's faced criticism for suggesting 1 million vaccines a day as the initial distribution target. That's not a big new goal. It's exactly what they inherited from the Trump administration and Operation Warp Speed. The president also doubled down on his belief that schools should be able to reopen sooner rather than later. I believe we should make school classrooms safe and secure for the students for the teachers and for the the help that's in those schools maintaining the facilities but for that to happen school districts would need additional federal funding mr biden is pushing for more school aid as part of his 1.9 trillion dollar covid relief package he's already dismissing suggestions by some democrats and republicans that the proposal might need to be scaled down in order to pass saying he expects negotiations to take at least a few weeks this is just a process beginning Meanwhile, the president's choice for Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is set to begin her first day on the job. The Senate confirmed her last night as the first woman ever to lead the Treasury Department. His choice for Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to be confirmed later today by the Senate. Also here at the White House today, the president is expected to use his executive authorities to fight racism against Asian Americans. Specifically, he's expected to try to curb anti-Asian bias sparked by the pandemic. Tony? All right, Ed, thank you very much.